I do have a problem yesterday. <gasps> Something happened, horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out what the heck happened. Um, I did a reading and it looked like everything was really straight down the line and I couldn't understand it because I was saying I would never think of this person that, you know, it was realization, you know. Well, I read the little reading later in the day and what came up in that reading was devil card. Of, in other words, it was delusion. It was a delusion that this person had entered. Because afterwards, I did wind up, they, they wanted to comment on my thing. And I talked with them and found out they were nowhere near where they thought they were. And they were one of these people that had a, a maybe a glimpse of something and then they root again and the mind starts going and man, they go off on a bender and they get really arrogant, egotistical. They're calling everybody else egotistical and this and that and they know and, you know, we can see the energy and your energy is this and you've got all this car. And I mean, they just start going off. And I'm going to send you this energy, and you'll see, and you're not sending me anything, okay? <laughs> There's nothing you have you can give me, okay? <laughs> I've been completed guru, kundalini adept and master since 1999. He's recently had some, what he thought, a big, you know, shift into enlightenment. Now he's going to tell everybody, you know. <laughs> You tell me, okay, you go ahead and go for that. <laughs> and again, it was very nasty, very arrogant, very nasty, and, and was just talking nonsense, <clears throat> absolute nonsense about what the path entails, how many levels there are to enlightenment. This, I mean, just was off, 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 you know. Wanted to try to say that Kundalini has no place. Ramana never mentioned Kundalini. It's so, you know, it's, you need these rarefied energy. Energy is energy, okay? Rarefied. You know, so again, um, uh, Please be careful. If you have, you know, if you have some sort of a feeling that something's not right, really beware, okay? Beware. Um, so again, you know, this person was um, just going off. Like I said, going off in a bender. And I've seen this before. Somebody gets a a little glimpse and they think that's it and they've done no practice they sit with satsang sellers that go oh there's nothing to get there's nowhere to go you're already that then I read his story and it was like well if I don't get it now it's just bullshit me you know so we had a, a, a delusional falling away Again, you know, yesterday I read the cards and it looked like everything was all up and up. And I'm going, you know, I didn't, you know, I had a feeling that there was something wrong. And I'm going, why is this, you know, okay, well, it's saying, you know. But again, like I said, I did that. And, and I think what happened was usually when I'm doing reading, I check the cards to see if they're, you know, right way up or upended. I didn't do that in this reading. I accepted it point blank and I shouldn't have done that. I should have checked with the pendulum to see. And I should have checked, I should have gone with my gut. I should have stayed with my gut as well. Because again, afterwards, um, I spoke with this person and he was just totally off the wall um, 
apparently knew nothing of Advaita, genuine Advaita, what it takes to be in a still mind, because his mind definitely wasn't still, and he was making excuses all over the map where he was too high for, you know, basically too high for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They want to quote Ramanet kind of when it suits them, but then when it, you know, it's going to challenge them, then, you, you know, then it's anyway. Uh, he's young, he's a kid, you know, and he's arrogant. Really a nasty, 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 arrogant egoist. Okay. So, you know, give this guy really wide, wide, wide berth. This naked, what was it? Naked reality is what he calls it. Yeah. So he went to send me a picture of his face. Look at this face. You can tell. You can tell. Yeah, I can tell, all right. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, he was going to show me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to send you this transmission because you need it. And I don't need your transmission, okay? You're not sending me anything, okay? So again, you know, don't accept transmission from just anybody, Okay? Because when you get something like this and you've got a lot of delusion in it, it's not a good thing, okay? Like that one woman that I read the other day and they, her transmission again is very, if you look at her eyes, they're just dead. They're dead. Not in a good way, okay? You don't want transmission from from some, you know, because everything is not coming from light. There can be, you know, like I said, you know, Kali is indicative of Kundalini, okay? And Kundalini can take one either to realization if one is surrendered within, or if you're an egoist, it's going to take you in more delusion, okay? And those that are seeking, like he is demanding, he was basically demanding enlightenment. And if I don't get it right now, it's bullshit, and I've given all my time. He was kind of like one of those type of people, arrogant. Well, what you get is delusion. So he could stay in his delusional mindset for quite some time and think he's got more wisdom, more energy, more, you know, all of these things. And his mind is just whirling, 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 whirling. And if he knew scripture, he'd know that genuine enlightenment is being blown out. Nirvikalpa, being in Nirvikalpa Sahaj, ongoing still of mind, Turiyatita, Okay, still mind, not a mind running rampant and trying to look at what happened and justify it and categorize it and put it in this and put it in that. <laughs> okay, and then patting yourself in the back on how great it is and how great you are and how fabulous and what you know and how everybody else is so stupid. <laughs> so yeah, no. When one gets to genuine realization, again, the mind stills, the mind stays stilled. Okay? It's not about, and a lot of the satsang tellers will tell you it's about, uh, not about having the mind still, it's like, oh, well, when you get there, you just don't pay attention to the thoughts. You just ignore it. It's not, you know, you, it's, it doesn't matter. It's nothing. Well, no, that's not it. 
then maybe you've had a glimpse or you're manufacturing a fantasy based on an um, identification or you've had a um, an insight Okay, and insight is not it. If you haven't gone through a death experience where you die and the mind is blown out, the still, where you're seeing from that point direct consciousness, then there is yet further to go. Further, further to go. Okay. And even when realization takes place, there is still another, uh, another segment of stilling and settling, which takes another four to five years. And this Yahoo thinks that he's seen something and now he's got it like that and he's, he's done and everybody else is still going and he's, he's the only one. No, he hasn't even begun. Hasn't even begun. So I'm gonna leave this here today. From now on, if I have a, a, a hesitation about a reading, and I'm feeling like something's, I need to check it again with the pendulum.